Hey there, let's start off today by talking about the business process automation tool, Aura. Today we're gonna to talk about how it can simply go through an automation flow and how it identifies user text boxes and workflows just as a human would by using something called computer vision. It basically allows the bot to see text boxes, computer controls, and any sort of other elements that you would find just as a human would by going through workflows. But unlike the other robotic process automation tools available in the market, Aura does not use the HTML properties, such as HTML selectors, to identify the text boxes and buttons. Instead, what Aura uses is machine learning to be able to view the screen and identifies those controls just like a human would. In this way, it reduces the maintenance needed for automation solutions in the case of the updates happening in the back end of the application, which would normally break people's workflows from other automation tools. So as you can see here, we're gonna click on new, we're gonna create a new workflow, and we're gonna enter a name for this workflow called populate web form. Now what this is going to do for us is navigate to the URL and input a couple of user fields for us, just as a human would, but with the help of the Aura machine learning and AI capabilities. And, and we're going to demonstrate that here by typing in the URL of the website that we're going to navigate to. Another way of doing this is to type in the add command window. We're going to go type in open filter it down through open application. And as you can see there, it's open a website. Now we're gonna enter the URL to the website that we're gonna to navigate to for and click add. This will basically accomplish the same task as we just did before, but with another way of doing it. Next, we're gonna to wanna to search for an enter key inside of our commands. And it's obviously a keyboard event. And we're gonna enter in the name of the label that we're trying to enter text into. And Aura will look through on the back end for these text labels and automatically configure the first name of this label to be entered as John. We're going to go ahead and add that. And the next thing we're going to do is add in the last name of the label, which is Doe. And then we're going to look for email and we're going to type in another field for the user's email. Click on that add button. It's going to give us our next opportunity to put in the phone number, which will be the user text phone number of the customer putting in their information in the web form. Obviously, for sanity's sake, we just put in a quick number there. Next is the role in the company, which can be pre-filled as a manager or anything that you would like, more for demonstration purposes only. The point of this is to prove that the automation can basically find any sort of web element on our screen just by using the machine learning and AI algorithms that have been proprietarily created. And obviously, as you can see, as we move the window here, you have a nice, clean reading construction of the actual workflow. Now, what we're gonna do next is make sure that we have all of our fields typed in. We're basically going back and forth here to make sure that we've got all the proper labels created for each of the inputs that we're going to be submitting. We're going to put in the company name, another field that we've been looking for. Put that as Aura. And as you can see here, we have a nice layout of all the information that we're gonna be receiving and inputting into that web form once we run it. And the last thing we need to do is click the submit button. So what we're gonna do is say click and put in parentheses submit and specify it as a button. Now, obviously we can also do that by going to the add command wizard and searching for click. 
And what that's going to do is give us mouse events and there's going to be click a button and you're going to want to type in the name of the text with on that button and then click add. Obviously, it accomplishes the same task, but at a cleaner, more word user friendly. Now, what we're doing here is we're copying and pasting our values to prove that we can put in random values at any chance that we want. After we click submit button, the web form that we've been inputting our data into gets changed. And the placement of each of the labels associated with the text boxes as well as the buttons is going to dynamically change. What we've done is created a proprietary algorithm that can identify these slight changes in the user interface, allowing the bot to be more versatile and can basically work with any labels as long as they're statically identified for text. We can find them on the screen. And as you can see now, the bot's going to be doing its thing, typing in the different information fields that we've specified. And on the bottom right hand corner, you can see the messages displaying as the workflow is automated. Obviously, you've seen the next screen is a little different, but the bot handles it flawlessly as it can now enter in the bot's first name, its last name, going on to email, phone number, role in the company, address, and then the company name finishing by hitting submit button. And you see on the bottom right, it says success, job completed. We've populated the web form twice and our workflow has completed. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for our next automation. Goodbye.